Before this video starts, I would like to say that the uncopy lock version of this place is in the first link in the description of this video. So if you don't want to just follow this video tutorial, then you can just download the place file from that experience. But yeah, let's just get into the video. Hey guys, it's Ashton Lua here and welcome back to the Clicker Simulator series. This is part two of this series, so if you missed part one, then I will pull it on the top right of the screen right now. So click that to see part one. But anyway, in this video, I'll be showing you how to make your clicks save. So say you leave the game and come back, then your clicks will be saved. And also how to make an auto clicker. So say you buy a game pass, and then turn on an auto clicker so it clicks for you. So let's get straight into it. So first things first, we're gonna make the auto clicker. So if we go to start GUI, main GUI, clicks frame, and then duplicate this button. And just, hold on, just move it to the side. And shrink it just a bit. This will be our auto clicker. So if we just rename this to auto button, we go and delete this click script. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the background to red. So this is the color that it is when it's turned off. And also I'm going to add some text so you know it's an auto clicker. So if I quickly just add a text label auto there we go so now you know it's an auto clicker and what we're going to do is going to add a local script and just name this to i don't know auto script doesn't matter what you name it and you're going to paste in um this script from the description of this video the first script so that's called the auto clicker script and once you paste it in you should see not that you should see this paste it in from the paste bin so you might be a bit you know um, overwhelmed <laughs> by all the coder but it's pretty simple basically the only thing you need to change is this this is the ID of your game pass your auto clicker game pass so you're gonna wanna make a game pass first so let me do that real quick and I'll get back to you Two thousand years later. Right, guys, I was tweaking out for about ten minutes because I put the wrong ID in. <laughs> oh my god! Right, if you're copying the ID, make sure you are copying this ID right here. This one, not any other ID. This one on the URL. What? Anyway, <laughs> let's go. Click Down play. Should work. As you can see. Zero clicks, click, works, and then click that. And it starts auto clicking. Obviously, it is a bit slow, so if you do want to change it so it's a bit quicker, you can go out of here, go back into the script, and change this weight to something like 0 0.5 maybe. And then click play again, and go to the auto clicker. As you can see, it's a bit quicker with the auto click, and you can click at the same time. So that is the auto clicker done. So now we can do the saving the leader stats, saving the clicks, whatever you want to call it. So if we click out of these, go to server script service, click the plus, add a script to here to the leader stats. Right. So once you've done that, you can paste it in here. You don't have to change any of this script, it will just work as normal. As long as you go to game settings, go to security, and make sure you have enable studio access to API services turned on. So it basically just, just lets data stores work. So if we could save. So if we click play and add some clicks to our player. Add, there we go, 35 clicks. And we click stop and go back into the game as you see we can keep the 35 clicks so it is saved and this will work in the real game not just in studio I mean this will carry over to studio to the game so yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial if you enjoyed this episode please let me know and I'll make a part 3 
And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. You don't even know me, you can't even say my name right. I